a lot of South Africans' lives, didn't actually see a major shift after apartheid ended. It's not okay that like me and my mom can be talking about an experience that she had 20 years ago and I'm still having the same thing. Is there no evolution? Is there no reform? Is there no change? And I was like, why is that? There was nobody looking to young Africans and saying, you're valued. And what you're going through is something that you need to be talking about and you're able to talk about in a safe space, but also to build you. You need to be developed as an individual so that you can inspire change amongst other people. So we wanted to start with building and addressing those identity issues, those self-esteem issues, those fundamental like social fibers, and then building people up to be leaders. How is it that this is this magnitude of credible minds that is not being activated? That's such a missed opportunity, not just for Africa, but for the entire world. If you just look at some of the things that people have been able to achieve because they didn't have water, they didn't have, you know, basic needs, the innovation that it took for them to get basic things it's like, why are we not using these minds? So I just wanted to make sure that that was being put to use. I think a lot of barriers have been put in place for the African youth to like not want to do anything, but it's like, guys, if we just like, just pushed you over the edge that little bit, like so much as possible.